Hello friends, in this video, let's talk about one of the important concept, one of the important interview question. Do you have triggers in your database? Yes or no? What is the easiest way to check? See, my database contains 100 tables. I cannot go to each and every table to see either triggers are there in the table or not. How to check in an easiest manner? I'll show you that. MySQL server is bit intelligent. It stores all the triggers information in a single place. I do not need to go to individual tables to see either trigger have or not. So then how to see? SQL server by default stores that information in the internal tables in the system tables so what is the name of the table is sys objects objects where type underscore description equal to sql underscore your trigger now this query gives you the list of triggers it tells you like how many triggers you have. Either database contains the triggers or not. Let's run this. How many triggers I have? Here I have 10 triggers. So I ran the query on the AdventureWorks database. It is showing me the around 10 triggers and you can see at what time it has been created and at what time it has been modified. So let me change the database name and tell you do I have any other triggers in this particular sample database. Yes, I do not have any triggers on the sample database. Let me go back to the adventure works to show you some more information. So here you can see the create date and modified date. So I want to see on which table I have. I don't want like I want to see on which table and what is the schema of the table. So here how to see the first one is I want to see the name of the trigger and on which schema I have. So here I have a schema ID to get a schema name. Do I need to join with other table because I have only ID here not required. My SQL server is bit more intelligent. It's already having a default function schema name which accepts the schema ID and it gives back the name of the schema. Schema name comma table name. So table name is object name. So object name of it takes input as parent object ID. So why can't I pass object ID is object ID is the trigger object ID not M table object ID. So that's the reason why I need to pass parent underscore object ID which gives me the result as table name. Table name. Let's run this. Now I can see here these 10 triggers. The name of the trigger is use sales order header. It is on the scheme of sales. Table name is sales order header and so on I can see. D employee, it is on the human resources dot employee table. So this is how I can easily tell either triggers exist in my database or not. I don't need to go to each and every table to see either triggers are defined in a database or not. This is how best I can tell you in easiest manner. And I can tell you the count also. So people might ask you in the interview, how many triggers you have in your database? You can directly tell that 10, 20, something like that. You do not need to go to individual tables to get it. That's all about this. So not only this, if you have any questions, any interview question you have, you can drop me your question in the comment section. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Also follow me on Facebook for more technical updates. That's all about it. Please like and subscribe for more technical updates.